we have learned how to find the cartesian product of two sets in fact we can find the cartesian product of three sets as well but can we do things in the reverse direction if we know a cartesian product let's say we are given this cartesian product p times q can we figure out what p and q are can we find the sets p and q pause the video think about it okay so the key thing to note here is the cartesian products are the sets of ordered pairs of elements of p and q the order is important always remember that these are ordered pairs any element that you pick from p times q let's say you pick 1 comma a this is an ordered pair the first element of it is coming from p and the second element of it is definitely coming from q this order will not change this is something that we'll use to figure out what p and q are so let's color code them if all the first elements are coming from p to figure out what p is let's only look at the first elements the first elements are 1 1 2 and 2 so p is actually 1 and 2 because there's nothing else that we can see we can say that p has to be 1 comma 2 similarly q has to be a comma b because there's nothing else as a second element in all of these ordered pairs and this is how you get p and q and when you're writing p and q the order does not matter p can be written as 1 comma 2 or 2 comma 1 because it's a set it's not an ordered pair it doesn't matter which one you pick first let's quickly practice this is a cartesian product p times q figure out what p and q are okay let's do this together let's only look at the first elements we have 1 1 2 2 so this means p has to be 1 comma 2 and the second elements are 1 3 1 and 3 so q has to be 1 comma 3 so p is 1 comma 2 and q is 1 comma 3 and it works just as smoothly in the case of ordered triplets as well here's an example p times q times r this is what we have as a cartesian product of these three sets p q and r let's try figuring out the elements of the sets p q and r pause the video give this a shot okay So to find p, only look at the first elements of these ordered triplets. We have one, two, one, two, two, one, one, two, one, and then two, one, two. Only ones and twos. Interesting. So p is actually one comma two. Let's look at the middle ones. We have two, one, two, two, three, three, one, 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 and two, three, three. What do we have? We have one. We have two. We have three. Okay. So Q is two, one, three, or one, two, three. Whatever the order doesn't matter. Q has these three elements. And what about R? We have one, three, three, one, one, three, three, one, one, and then three, one, three. Okay. Ones and threes. So R is one comma three. This is how you move in the reverse direction when you're given a product. This is how you figure out the original sets.